this concept of the fact that people change, there is no room for that anymore. Yeah. Yeah, play that back. <laughs> Cancel culture. Mm. It don't exist. It just yeah. uh, everyone's getting canceled now. Like it's, <laughs> I sw- if you uh, if you are gonna start yelling at people to cancel them, you better make sure that you are perfect. Yeah, because they're gonna they're gonna come for you for sure. They're gonna rip something up that you did probably ten years ago that wasn't that bad, and mm. all of a sudden. It's disgusting. Like, I'm, I'm actually the really... The only issue is, in order for people to do that to normal people, they'd have to, like, go knock on their mother's door and be like, hey, can I have your family photo albums? Not, I mean... Not really, because the really. social media is starting to really track so When you were a kid using... Did you use social media as a kid? Did mm, you guys? Up until... I didn't until, like... I started 18. Late much. junior mm. high. So how, like, how MySpace. Old, how old is that? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. How old would you be? Probably about 18. Uh, MySpace would have been like when we were 15. 17? Oh, you think? That young. Yeah. Are you guys the same age? Close. I about don't think year. my parents would have let me when I was 15. I was on it like probably 15, 16 maybe. Okay. But, um, That's I know cool. There was a I was on it when I was 10. Yeah. Oh my gosh. 11, 12? That's not that crazy though. Kids now are on That's what I'm like saying though. No, I guess I don't so, think about that. So yeah. I think like for me, like, you know, it probably would have, yeah, started around like, I guess my age yeah. where you were on... <sighs> When you were like twelve, yeah. yeah, and you said the stupidest <laughs> shit, yeah, and kids that young too, like you say shit that is sexist, homophobic, yeah. racist, yeah, because you still don't fucking know. Like, is you it hate speech? You purely just don't no. understand the gravity yeah. of what you're saying, and that's the thing. When like, you're also figuring it out, like what is appropriate? Like yeah. we're always pushing boundaries when we're kids. Like, 100%. what can we get away with? And yeah. my my concern as well is where where this is going is. It's going to get to a point where, because we're at a, a point even now where every single person cannot make a mistake. Mm. You know, there's no, there's this concept of the fact that people change. There is no room for that anymore. Yeah. You know, like you have to, they have this belief that, you know, I've said some shit five years ago, two years ago, say, like yeah. three months ago yeah. where I'm, I look back at that now and I go, cool. I wouldn't say that again. Yeah. Hundred percent. And so, like this shit with like like Shane Dawson, they're ripping stuff up that he did in like I think it was like two thousand and twelve. Yeah. I thought they said though that his is like a little bit more. Oh, his is definitely a little bit like, huh? Um, but I would like to see the whole video. Yeah. You know, like because you only see some five second clip taken mm. out of context, mm. and it looks like it's some sort of bestiality or um, pedophilia joke. Yeah. Mm. But is there a, like, I'm not saying, like, those things are fucking disgusting, yeah. but is there a, like, what is the full context? Yeah, 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 100%. You know, because well, you get three seconds out of this and all of a sudden you and I are some sort of horrible demonic human. Well, I mean, you take the whole thing and you still believe that. <laughs> that's yeah. just the truth. The issue, too, though, with it all is that then I feel like whether you're an artist or whether you're an Instagram or whatever you're doing, it puts so much pressure on you to like don't release anything until it's to perfect. Be beige as well. Yeah. yeah, beige and perfectionism. Because yeah. if you believe that someone's gonna rip you apart for something you did ten <clears> years <throat> ago, imagine like if you release something right now and it's not perfect. But even think about it too, like this whole thing of like I said, times change as well. Mm. Yeah. So it's like we forget that as well. Like jokes that were okay in the sixties weren't okay in the 70s, mm. 80s, 90s, 20, like 20, yeah. tw- 2020. And we forget that, like, you know, <clears throat> we're, we're burning freaking comedians at the stake yeah. for saying jokes that were insensitive. It's like, but then why was there a whole crowd of like 50,000, 100,000 people laughing at the joke? Yeah. Of all races and all ages yeah, and 100%. all sexes. And it's like, it gets to this point where I, I wonder if where it comes full circle, where it's like, even white people can't make white people jokes, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, because it's it's getting to that point where it is such a protected thing where, like I mentioned to you, the fact that now chess is considered racist because of black and white squares. Yeah, like, It's going to get to a point where 
me wearing this black shirt is somehow a racist thing against a culture. Like, it, you that's, laugh at it. That sucks because that's all I wear. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Like at what point, where do we draw a line of yeah, creating resilience for people? Because if yeah. the if someone is a, is a hemoph- hemophilia, not hemophiliac, but a, they bleed very easily and they can't, like you get cut and you never. Oh, it's hemoph- a. Hemophilia. Is no, hemophilia? Is no, no, hemoph- no. Hematosis. You have hematosis. No, basically. hold on. No, hold on one second. Oh, wait. Well, yeah. no. I'm going to Google it. Anyway. No, stop. They say, right, they say this it? about Mammy. They say Mammy is a hypochondriac. No, no it's not that's that. That's overreacting. What? That's, that's overreacting. It's hemophilia. Stacey. Yeah. Okay. You know what we're going to say? Someone who bleeds very easily. Hem- hem- they suffer hematosis or whatever. Yeah. The, if you... <laughs> Did you just laugh? Yeah. <laughs> not... not about people that have that. No, I was laughing <laughs> at the that fact that I was Yeah, that really would be very pressed. insensitive. Because I'm really wanting to hear the dictionary definition. Oh, okay. But no, so the thing is that if you are always protected from stuff, you will never become resilient to things. You know what I mean? Like, um, and the problem now is it's just becoming this area where it is so, like, we have it so fucking good. Yeah. So good. Mm. At what point are we going to start then going back through, like, say, music in the history and cancelling someone because they said one thing in a rap song? Well, um, that continues. You know, un- there, there, was a, there was an unfortunate passing away of a, of a, of a boy in Melbourne due to um, being uh, stabbed, I believe. Yeah, well. Beaten up. And the, everyone was trying to blame uh, Axe... That do the you know drill drill music oh uh, yeah like yep. one four and mm. um, a couple of those guys and it's like you're trying to blame one thing yeah one group one person yeah for a problem that's been around for centuries yeah you know what I mean um, and it's like okay cool yeah like you know they talk about things in the music but. It's not like they're telling people to go and do these things. You yeah. know what I mean? Well, Eminem got it. Like Every, he, everyone's it's always, always happened to hip hop. It's a, it's they tried to they, they actually they've tried to use it in courts to convict people. Yeah, yeah. that's fucking because stupid. of talking about it. and and you know for for the most part these people have gotten off because it's like talking about an experience. You know, yeah. it's a freedom of speech thing. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. they're not saying that they did it. It's just they're talking about what they've seen and you know. Yeah. The, the things, the life that they know, like, you know mm. what I mean? It doesn't mean that they've done it. They're just talking about what happens where they've grown up, where they where they live. Yeah. It's, cr- it's, 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 it's fucking That's insane. where that freedom of speech comes down to, like, it is a, it's like we're going through a systematic erosion of freedom of speech, mm. you know? like Yeah, no doubt. Um, it's, it's basically like, what was it? I posted something that Bill Burr said the other day, and it was like, Everyone advocates for freedom of speech as long as you're speaking about what I want to hear. Mm. Yeah. Which is basically what today is. It's like, you know, oh, okay, I kind of disagree with that. Yeah. And they go, it's very easy to label you as a racist, a mm. homophobe or um, a xenophobe or something like that. Because straight away it's like then you're putting me on the back foot. Yeah. And I have to now justify to you why I'm not. Even though I'm like... Yeah. I'm clearly not like yeah, hundred percent. And uh, it's this victim mentality, and um, Jordan Peterson talks about it so eloquently. And it's it's the problem with victims is a victim needs a perpetrator, mm. and so what a victim will do is then start looking for someone that they can hurt back. Yeah, as a perpetrator, and that's what we're kind of experiencing right now. Yeah. Is everyone either is or wants to be a victim? Now, there are genuine victims out there, um, you know, there's no doubt. Like, I mean, there is victims who are genuine victims of a horrible sit- situation. Yeah. However, I think at the moment now it's really kind of a cool thing to be a victim mm. and there's this glamorization of being a victim yeah. because it's that underdog story. Mm. And all of a sudden, you know, like you said, with rap, like someone stabs someone rather than going, okay, I shouldn't have done it. It is, but they influenced me to do it, mm. you know? Yeah. And it's, it's, this, it's this removal of, like, everyone wants to be the victim even when they have done the, bo- the bad thing. It's funny, though. I'm going to take a nine iron and smash someone's car window and then be like, oh, Taylor Swift told me to do it. Oh, that's a good one, actually. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, that's, and you never, like, you know, that's a, 
that's an exact example. You don't mm. hear people being like, mm-hmm. you know, talking to Taylor Swift about like retaliations on exes and things like that <clears> being like, oh yeah, you know, like I heard it in a Taylor Swift song, so I went and did it. It's yeah. like, no, well, where's it, where's it pointed at? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Actually, I wonder if, if, I wonder if anyone is out there who has done that and Bro, used that. 100%. But used it. Oh, not used it. No well, way. Taylor Swift did it. Yeah. Like, that on. would be so funny. Yeah. But look, like, cancel culture really, <sighs> unless it's something that puts you behind the bars, which 6 9 has clearly proven that doesn't really <laughs> matter, mm. you can get out of jail and make you, like, it'll, now he's got a rap sheet and people are like, oh, dang. Like, yeah. there's people who are like, dude, eh, fuck him. He's a snitch. Mm. And then there's, other kids who just like, yeah, he went to prison. Like, yeah. they don't care. <laughs> yeah. So, like, it's, yeah, it's, um, as long as you're resilient and you can get past that when everyone's yelling at you for being whatever you are, yeah. you know, whatever you're getting cancelled for these days, it's, um, you get past it. Like, this too shall pass. Mm. 